morning students last class we have discussed about triangulation method and parallax method in triangulation method we study how to find out the height of a tree or height of a flat post or height of a tower in parallax method we study how to find out the distance of the moon from the earth today we are going to discuss about radar method in news we heard that when an aeroplane is flying at 10000 feet high suddenly due to failure in engine it has dropped it has landed on the nearby airport this 10000 feet high how they are saying by using radar now the acronym for radar is radio detection and ranging so r a from the radio from detection d and a and ranging r now this ranging is nothing but distance that is radar has been used it is used to measure the distance of nearby planets such as mars it is also used to find the height of an aircraft from the ground now if you take this radar it has two components transmitter and receiver this transmitter will transmit the signal receiver receives a signal and this transmitter and receiver it is in the form of that is a signal is in the form of electromagnetic waves and it travels at a distance of 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second which is equal to speed of light now if you take this radar this transmitter sends the signal through antenna to the space this signal the signal will move in all the directions and for example if the signal comes and it strikes on a target if it strike comes and strikes on a target it will be an aeroplane or it will be mountain what will happen it will reflect the signal will reflect back the reflected one will be received will be received by the receiver through antenna from this i can find out the position of an object to determine the range the time taken by the signal from the antenna to the target and return back to the original position from that we can find out the range we know that the formula distance that is d is equal to distance by time speed is equal to distance by time now i want to calculate distance so therefore distance is equal to take this one here I can write speed into time. Distance is equal to speed into time. Now let us consider this distance as d, and this distance is d now. So here the total distance is 2d. The total distance is 2d. Speed I will write as velocity v into time t. So v is equal to v into t by 2. with this formula we can able to calculate the distance for example the time taken for the signal from the antenna to the target and from the target to the antenna is 4 meter is 4 sorry is 4 second So what will be here? Two seconds. 
from here to this another two seconds. So probably we will have four seconds. So B is equal to we know the velocity. What is the velocity? Three into ten power eight meter per second into time taken is four seconds divided by two. This two and two will be cancelled. The second and second will be cancelled. So three to the six into ten power eight meters. This is the distance. I think you are able to follow it. Now we are going to deal an example problem. Example one point three, page number fifteen. A radar signal is being towards a planet, and its echo is received seven minutes later. If the distance between the planet and the earth is six point three to ten power ten meter, calculate the speed of the signal. Now let us consider this is planet. This one is planet. What is given? A radio signal is being towards a planet, and its echo is received seven minutes later. So, from the earth, a wave, a signal has been sent to the planet, and it has been received or received. It. And the time taken is seven minutes. If the distance between the planet and the earth, distance between the planet and the earth, is six point Three into ten power ten meter. We also calculate the speed, speed of the signal. Here the distance is given only from planet to the air, but the signal has been sent from air to the planet and then it is received from planet to the air. So here the distance will be so six point three into ten power ten meter. So our total distance is two d. Given. Time is given. So t that is equal to seven minutes. Convert it into seconds. So seven into sixty seconds. Next, what is given? Distance between. Distance between the planet and the earth. Six point three into ten power ten meter. What I ask to find? What I ask to find? Speed of the signal. It will be m. Now solution. Speed is equal to distance by time. Here yeah, distance is what two d. So two d divided by t. So this is b. So two into what is distance given? Six point three into ten power ten meter. Time is. Seven into sixty. Now you see, this two thirty times. This thirty is three ten times here two point one. This seven into five it will become zero point three. So velocity is equal to zero point three into ten power ten divided by Ten. If I get zero point three divided by ten, I will be getting it zero point zero three into ten power ten. If I take this decimal here, I will get three into ten power minus two into ten power ten. 
that is equal to 3 into 10 power minus 2 to 10 power 10. It becomes 10 power 8. So, that is equal to 3 into 10 power 8. What is the unit here? Meter per second. Meter per second. So, therefore, the speed of flight is equal to 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. That is speed of the signal. Now we are going to discuss a numerical problem which is given in page number 39. Question number 1. In a submarine, a tube is shown off the time delay between the generation of a pulse and its echo after reflection from an enemy submarine is observed to be 80 seconds. If the speed of sound in water is 1460 meters per second, what is the distance of enemy submarine? Now, let us consider two submarines. This one is army summary. This one enemy summary. In army summary, they are equipped with the sonar. Now here, sonar has been equipped. From here, the signal has been sent to the enemy summary, and after reflection, it has received to the army summary. And the time taken for this is. 80 seconds. Time taken is 80 seconds. Then the speed of sound, the speed of sound in water is 1460 meter per second. And they also calculate the distance of enemy submarine. They also calculate the distance of enemy submarine. Now, what is given? Time taken is given. So time is equal to 80 seconds. Then speed is given. Speed of sound in water is equal to 1460 meter per second. What I have to find? Distance of enemy submarine. Distance of we also find out distance of enemy submarine. Position. Speed is equal to Distance by time. Speed is equal to distance by time. So B is equal to B by T. Here the distance is two times. Here one, here one D, here one D. So total two D. So I will give it as two D. So now I want to calculate the distance. So cross multiply is two D is equal to B into T. Therefore, D is equal to V into T divided by 2. So, what is T? 1460 meter per second and the time taken is 80 seconds divided by 2. So, we can write the unit meter per second. This is for speed. Then for time, another one second. So this second, second will be cancelled. This two, 40 times. Now if I multiply this, 1, 4, 6. So I will be getting as 5, 8, 4, 0, 0. Meter. So distance is 
five eight four zero zero meter. So converting into kilometer. So divided by thousand, that will get fifty eight point four kilometer. So this fifty eight point four kilometer will give distance of any submarine. measurement of mass what is mass mass of a substance is the amount of matter present in it for example if i take 10 kg of sugar in physics i will be calling this sugar is a matter why we will be calling it as matter because it has mass as well as it occupies some space so we are so we are calling the sugar is a matter now what is 10 kg 10 kg is nothing but mass now in your textbook it is given in the form of definition that is mass of a body is defined as quantity of matter contained in a body what is the unit for mass kilogram then In lower classes, you study about mass. It has basic property of matter. Then you study it does not depend on temperature, pressure, and location of the body on the space. For example, if I take this pen, or if I take this top piece, and if I want to measure this top piece on here, and if it shows. 2 kg and it will show 2 kg of mass then you take this same top piece and you measure on the moon what you can see you will have the same 2 kg of mass so it does not depend on location of the body understood next you see here here also 2 kg on yet Here also 2 kg on moon. The mass remains constant, so mass is constant. The next point is it is a scalar unit. It is a scalar quantity. What is scalar? It has only magnitude and no direction. And the last one is the mass will not be zero. It will not be zero. So mass of of an object cannot be Zero. These are the basic properties about mass. Now we will go for weight. Whether mass and weight are same? No. Weight is force exerted by the gravity on the object. Is called weight. That is, F is equal to mg or mv. Here I can write M E S G. So F is equal to M into G. G is nothing but acceleration due to gravity. Actually, we will give for the kilogram, but it should be measured in newton. It should be measured in newton because force. Next, we will be going for. range of mass mass of an electron mass of an electron is equal to 9.11 into 10 power minus 31 kg and mass of known universe mass of known universe is equal to 10 power 55 kg The mass of known universe is equal to 10 power 55 kilogram. How to measure mass? How to measure mass? In day-to-day -day life, we use common balance
इलेक्ट्रॉनिक बैलेंस एंड स्प्रिंग बैलेंस ओके नाउ टू मेजर लार्जर मासेस टू मेजर लार्जर मासेस like planets stars etc so to measure larger masses like planets stars etc we can use gravitational method we can use gravitational method Now, if I want to measure smaller masses, like atomic and subatomic particles, if I want to measure smaller masses like atomic and subatomic particles, we can use mass spectrometer. we can use mass spectrometer from this we can get from this we can get mass spectrograph from mass spectrograph we can measure smaller masses like atomic and subatomic particles measurement of time how we measure time with the help of clock what is the unit of time second then the atomic standard of time is based on periodic vibration produced in cesium 133 atom this cesium clock is also called as atomic clock because it is highly stable and is used in national standard of time some of the examples for measurement of time are solar clock electric oscillator electronic oscillator atomic clock decay of particle radioactive dating and quartz crystal the smallest practical unit of time the smallest practical unit of time is k the smallest practical unit of time is k one change is equal to One k is equal to ten power minus eight seconds. 